So, West Ham United 1, Arsenal 2. We're back in the mud, Jez. Yeah. That's why we're so good. Uh, I look like a lobster. I've caught the sun. And, um, yeah, you're in the mud, mate. I'm All in right. the mud. We're, we're third loser again. Um, not a great performance. Um, but having seen the Tottenham result, normally when we play afterwards, we normally do cock up. Uh, we didn't do that today. Wasn't pretty to watch. There were some poor performances from a lot of players today. There were some good performances as well. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen your fan cam, do go and check the fan cam out. And make sure you do subscribe to Jez's channel, Arsenal History and More. That is linked in the description. Um, but go and check out the fan cam for me, Kenny and Jez. Uh, but for anyone who hasn't seen it, mate, give us your little breakdown of how you see that game. Before yeah, we it was it was two poor teams, mate, battling it out. Um, it wasn't. I'd, I'd never thought this was going to be a great game. Um, you know, fair play to West Ham. They played uh, in the Europa League um, on Thursday, and fair play, they did a job. I always, I said, I predicted a one-one. So fair play to Arsenal. Got a two-one. Um, gets us currently still in full spot that everybody wants, and mm. you know, the great ambitions we were going to have in the full spot getting into the Champions League. Um, yeah, we move on. I predicted a 2-1, Mr. Negative over here. Um, yeah. <laughs> I predicted 2-1 to Arsenal. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot more rested players by West Ham, if I'm honest. And I, I only see maybe Suchek and Antonio were the ones that were really rested. They've they got a defensive crisis with centre-backs and defenders, etc. But... When I see the lineup, I thought, oh, okay, I didn't expect that. I thought they were going to keel over and just let us beat them. But having said that, on the flip side, if they had beaten us today, they actually went above Man United into Europa League qualifying again. Um, yeah. As it stands, they're in the conference qualifying. Wolves have got a game in hand, but if Wolves win that, they're level, but they're not above them because of the goal difference. So they've still got kind of something to play for. So I suppose, really, we probably just took it for granted that maybe they were just going to rest everyone. But... Is what it is, but um, let's get into the uh, the player ratings. For anybody who wants to cry in the comments, we don't care. Uh, just put your player ratings. <laughs> People say to us, me every week in the comments, yeah, they say to us, "Oh, but you say you don't just put your just put your player ratings in." We don't we don't care. Yeah, we're here again. Yeah, you cry every week. We're back again. Um, but, uh, let's go. Aaron Ramsdale um, made an unbelievable save. Um, yeah, from right. From, Mate, that was an that was a mad save. I can't lie. Um, didn't have a great deal to do. They weren't they weren't potent really. They weren't really they whipped a couple of nice balls into the box. They obviously didn't have a striker in there. Uh, on another day, they might have had a striker on that six yard line tapping a few in, but um ultimately it didn't work out. He had kind of a quiet day. He did make one rush out of goal, which confused me and Dollar because the angles that we see on the zone, it looked like he clipped. Jared Bowen, but Jared Bowen got booked, and we thought um, Ramsdale got booked. Me and Ola, I still haven't seen it back yet because I've been recording. But everyone is adamant, even, and I've even had West Ham fan that I know text me, big up Paul, saying, "Yeah, Bowen bottled it. If he had just carried on instead of diving, he probably would have got Ramsdale sent off." So even West Ham fans are saying, like I said, old man's up. I thought Leno, uh, Leno. I thought Ramsdale caught him. But what, what did you make of him today? Other than other than that save, he didn't have a great deal. But what did you make of him? Yeah, I thought he was solid. Um, I thought he was unlucky with the West Ham goal. It got a deflection. He he was, you can see where he was going. If you, if you look at the view from behind the goal, he was going there. It got a minor deflection and, you know, wrong foot at him. So fair play, you know, he, mm. that happens. Um, yeah, I thought he's done decent. Um, I'll give him a seven. Uh, let's go to Tommy Asu, back in the team today, ended up limping off injured, um, which, let's be real, probably wasn't a shock to anyone, seeing as he ain't kicked a ball for three months. Um, but not many attacks down his side, more down the other side. We'll come to Tavaj in a minute. But what did you make of Tommy Asu? I thought he was decent. Um, uh, he kept Ben Rama, I think, quiet, to be fair. Mm. Um, it's very tricky as well that Ben Rama, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm, yeah, it's a shame to see him go off injured again because I think maybe that will be the end of the season for him. Um, just really when we need him. Um, yeah, he shut everything down really, and I'll give him a seven. Uh, Nuno Tavaj, um, can run quick, 
can cross a ball, um, can't defend for Toffee. And um, we see that on Jared Bowen's goal. So far tucked in, he was almost at centre-back. Coup foul, bang, into Bowen, bosh. And, uh, mate, some of, some of the passes Tavaj was doing today. Mate, listen, I know he's got thrown into the limelight again. And he is the backup to Kieran Tierney. But if we do not make top four this season, I think he's going to be the reason why, if I'm honest. Yeah, he, he was poor today. He was really poor. Um, sloppy, sloppy play. I blame him. I mean, what he was doing in centre-back position <clears throat> when Bowen took that shot, and it def I think it was deflected off to Varish. Uh, no, it was, it was Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah, so, but this is the thing. When Jared Bowen's gone inside, Tavares should be out on yeah, yeah, um, yeah. two foul. He was poor. I'm giving him a four. He, 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 and I'm being generous today. He was mm. poor. Uh, let's go to Gabriel. Scored the winning goal. Um, turned his back on their goal. I thought he actually played pretty well at times. Uh, I, he didn't have a great deal to do because they didn't play with a, with a proper striker. But I actually thought he was all right. But he worries me at times, Jez. I can't lie. He's, he's very lackadaisical. Like, switches off Like sometimes. Yeah, that, that goal they scored... You can't turn your back. He's he's put his arms behind his back and just it's yeah. like why don't you make yourself big? Yeah, like don't put your arms out, but would Tony Adams turn his back on that? Come on, he'd take one full in the face. Exactly. Yeah, he did score the winner, and it was a, a great bit of movement from him. Shocking defending from West Ham, but he did ultimately score the winner. So I suppose he gets a few uh, extra points for that, maybe. Yeah, I mean, fair play to him. I mean, I I um yeah, this this as you quite rightly see, you, you can't, as a as a big defender, you can't, you, you know, you've got to take one in, in, you know, the family jewels, or you've got to take it in the face. That That is how it always is. But he, yeah, he scored a goal. It was very reminiscent, <laughs> to be fair, of the old Smith one against Liverpool at Anfield, when he, you know, Smith nicked round the back and nutted it in against mm. Robert. So I'll give him I'll, I'll give him a license on that one, um, and he's going to get uh, an eight for me because he did cause an issue. Sorry, no, I'll get no. Sorry, I'm, I've written it down. Sorry, people, I'm, I'm giving him a seven because he did score the winner, and I'll admire him for that. But you know, mate, if you're going to be a, in in that position, you've got to take it wherever the ball's going to hit you. Hundred percent, mate. Uh, let's go to um, his partner in crime. First um, first game as a start that he's played for a while. Um, got man of the match. I thought he was man of the match. Scored the first goal against the runner play. It was our first shot on target. And um, defensively, I thought he was easily our best defender all day. Yeah, he was winning headers. He was calm. He was cool. Um, and, yeah, I thought Rob Holding was man of the match. Do you agree or do you, do you think Absolutely. it was someone else, mate? No, great goal. Very good goal. Um, the way he held off whatever, whoever that defender was to get in there and, like, nut it in. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good delivery as well. That's, that's, that's mm, good exactly, yeah. Delivery. Uh, but he was there, right place, scored it. Goalkeeper was stranded. West Ham goalkeeper was stranded. So, yeah, fair play to him. I'll give him an eight. And he's man of, your, man of the match, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. All day long, yeah. Um, let's go into midfield. Let's go to Mohamed Elneny. Again, I thought he was decent yeah. today. Played some good forward passes. He was showing Odegaard how to pass forward at times. Um, doesn't ever look like he's in danger. He doesn't... It's, it's never rushed with Elneny. Yeah, even if he's under pressure, he just seems kind of cool, doesn't he? I'm not saying keep keep him and give him a new contract and all of that crap, but um, yeah, I thought he was pretty good again, mate. Yeah, all day. I mean, I thought he looked solid. Um, the last three games he's played, I think he's done a decent job. So I'll give him a seven. Um, couldn't fault him, as you say. Yeah, you know, he, he doesn't seem to me to be a player that panics. He's not brilliant. He does the job. He looks solid. He knocks the ball around quite well, and. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd give him a seven. Yeah, I agree. I thought he was decent again. Uh, let's go to Granite Xhaka. 
Um, mm -hmm. At times, I thought he was playing in claret and blue. <laughs> yeah. Not a great performance from Granite today. No. He, he, he likes to do this, though, Lee, doesn't he? He likes to pass it to the opposition. Um, you know, put us under pressure. Not a great performance. I know all there's going to be all this love out there for him. Oh, he wants to be the captain again. Oh, and all this. Do one, mate. Get out of this club. Five. Let's go to Gibraltar guard. I didn't realise he was on the pitch. Um, very poor, poor performance from him today. Yeah. Uh, what did you make of it? Yeah, shocking. I mean, for the first 15 minutes, um, didn't even know he was there. Um, and this is the guy that's supposedly the you know creative midfielder. Certainly not for me today. Um, no, no good. Poor five. Um, let's go to Gabriel Martinelli, somebody that we both rate. Um, again, first half, didn't even know he was there. Nope. Um, nowhere to be seen for their first goal. We weren't tracking back or nothing. And um, second half, he got the assist for Gabriel Magalhaes' winner, um, which I suppose are buying a pass with a lot of our fans. But I thought he was really poor today, Jez. What did you make of him? Yeah, I thought he was so out of the game. Nothing really impressed me at all today with him. Um, yeah, OK, great assist. It, it was a great assist. It's it a pinpoint pass. Um, but, yeah, average five. Uh, opposite side, Bukayo Saka uh, will probably end up getting, um, well, he will get the assist for Rob Holding's goal. Great delivery. Yeah, um, caused mayhem with his delivery for the winning goal, which ultimately uh, Martinelli will get the assist. But a um, bit in and out. Yeah, he, he tried hard. It, it just weren't his day, was it? Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he was giving Fredericks all kinds of trouble, wasn't he? Mm. Um, so fair play to him. And yeah. I don't think he was brilliant today, but I'll give him a six. Eddie and Ketia. Um, hold up play was all right. A couple of good chances that he had. Never really convinced with this guy when when he's got a one-on-one -on -one situation. You're never convinced that he's actually going to take the guy and bury it, are you? No. But he does work hard, which is why top gooners want to give him a new contract. <laughs> what did you make of him? Yeah, he huffed and puffed, didn't he? Um, fair play, he's work rate, you can't knock him. But as you quite right say, in the last third at times, he, he's got to deliver that killer ball. And, you know, today there, there was that opportunity. He sort of slotted that all day long. So I'll give him a seven. Uh, let's go to substitute. Cedric Suarez mm. uh, came on for Tommy Asu. I'll give him a six because he came on. What else? You know, didn't have a lot he could do really in that short period of time. So, yeah, he'll get a six for me. Uh, let's go to Emil Smith Rowe. Uh, uh, yeah, he didn't have a lot of time. Again. Yeah, he didn't have a lot of time, did he? Let's be fair. He didn't have a lot of time to impact on the game. So, I'll give him a four. And uh, Sambi Lakonga. The Conga again didn't have a lot of time to impact on the game. So, what do you do? Um, you know, I'm I'm up and down on this player. I've seen him play a couple of very good games for Arsenal, but I've played, seen him play some absolute rubbish. But today, he didn't have a lot of impact. He didn't have a lot of time. So, I'll give him a four. Uh, you know how this works, people. Um, we do a three-two-one, and then we both rate the manager. Uh, if you, if you want to put your player ratings and manager rating below, cool. If you want to cry, we don't care. Mm. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Jez's channel. It'll be in the description, Arsenal, history and more. And uh, we're going to do a three, two, one. Seven. Six. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll give him a seven. He's kept pretty much the same lineup and it's doing its job. Um, El Nenny, I three weeks ago, three games ago, sorry, I said bring him in to mix it up, and he's keeping him in there. The only mm. one thing I think we can prove from uh, Arteta, Pepe, mate, you're going in the summer. Yeah, <laughs> don't rate you. Get out of the club, and I see rumours that he's been offered around. 
to go. So get out, mate. You, you deserve better. 100%. I gave him a six based on the fact that um, he didn't bring Pepe on and the game was screaming out for Pepe. Mm. Yeah, take Saka off. We see him get injured in the last game. He forced him back in today. Wasn't amazing. And uh, just running him into the ground, man. Mm. Yeah, it's like you've got Pepe on the bench. Why don't you just take Saka off after 55, 60 minutes and say, yo, this game is so like back and front. Good now point. you've got now you've got Pepe on the pitch. Yeah. And then Saka was giving Fredericks a tough time, like you said at times. Yeah. Imagine what Pepe would do to him. It'd twist him all ends up. Mm. Yeah, and um again, I thought um he could have maybe, maybe subbed on Lacazette, albeit he ain't been great this season. But if Laka gets some of the chances Eddie had today, I think he might have scored or at least done a little bit better with him. Maybe parried it for another tapping or something. But other than that, listen, it's a routine victory against West Ham. We're better than West Ham. We beat them most seasons. And uh, we've done the double this season. But uh, before we wrap this up, big up to everyone who has watched the fan cams. Make sure you go and check them out if you haven't. Mine, Kenny and Jez's fan cams are all active. Uh, big up to everyone who watched the watch along as well. Always love on that. Um, tomorrow I'm back with no I'm not back with rants tomorrow that's switched to Tuesday I'm lying uh, Jez what you got coming up it's bank holiday tomorrow right yeah tomorrow I'm not doing anything um, Tuesday no I'm actually going with the wife to watch the new Downton Abbey film um, lovely in the evening and we'll have a meal afterwards or before or after whatever and then Wednesday people on my channel I've got uh, Kenny Kent Gracie May talking all things Arsenal. Um, then probably latter part of the week, I'll drop another history one um, and uh, move on from there. There we go. Make sure you go and subscribe, people. And on that point, we are out of here. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like and share. We are out. Arteta are out. You prick. <laughs>